Carlton's Travel Adventures. Go get your passport. Man, I can't believe my cousin almost did this to me. Check this out. So I went to clear up my locker yesterday in, uh, in Pompano, which is about 30 miles from here. Um, didn't realize they were closed on Sunday. The office was closed on Sunday. So I went upstairs, emptied the locker out, took the key off, um, and uh, the key's right here. The locker key, that lock, locker with uh, two keys and the lock. So I realized that after I emptied the locker out, and I didn't realize I had so much stuff there. Man, remember, I'm a fisherman, almost a professional fisherman, right? I fish all over the place in Alaska, you know, eight, ten miles offshore, three day trips out there. I had four boats, accumulated a lot of stuff over the years, a lot of stuff. I didn't realize how much stuff I had. Just never thought about it for three years, right? Never, never saw it. Locker was full, full of stuff. And majority of it was fishing equipment, rod, reels, you know, just uh, lures, expensive lures to troll with. Uh, you know, to, to cast with, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, that's right. And like four bags of those lures and, you know, big bags too. And, and lines, I had one bag full of lines. I mean, all type of expensive lines. Some of them not even open yet, okay? Picked it all up and I had, like I said, about eight reels. These are three that I kept. I only kept three for myself, you know. Um, these right here, these are expensive. This one right here, Trinidad, it's called a Trinidad. Expensive, right? You know, uh, and this is a pen reel I've had for like 25, 30 years, I don't know. Works like a charm, never goes bad. I service it once or twice, once a year, because I use it so often. It still works great, still works great. You know, so I kept these three, this small one, Sitica, um, small one, just this, this one to keep it, right? Thank God I kept this one. This thing costs Hundreds of dollars, by the way. Look it up, Trinidad. So, took him over to my cousin's house. I told him I'm bringing it to, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm traveling around. I'm paying on this locker for so long, three and a half years. I just want to give it to you. You have three boys, you know, you can go fishing. You know, you can save it, go fishing or whatever. And he said, man, uh, my garage is full. I see I kind of, kind of didn't want it. I noticed I don't fish that. I don't fish my three kids. I'm Because the kids are small. I get it. There are two I think five and like nine. So they're small kids, never thought about it. I figured fishing with it later on in life or whatever. They don't go bad, keep them. And I'd rather give him, he would took my fishing re rods, like six rods. Now these rods, some of them are expensive. They're custom made just for me. With Jamaica colors on them, um, and my name in them, you know, custom built rods, not cheap, a couple hundred bucks. And, uh, he had them in the garage on the floor, all kind of jump on top of them. I'm like, my heart kind of like skipped the beat when I saw them on the floor. Like, <gasps> I thought they were, my vision was they're, you know, neat, neatly dusted off in the closet, sitting up, you know, like I keep them at home when I have them. No, they're in the garage on the floor, all kind of jump on top of them. Like, ugh. I give them all that stuff. I'm thinking it's going to save them for, you know, he and his kids to use. So I said, well, it's yours. Do what you want. You know, you want to give them away, whatever. Not thinking. So wish I didn't see this. So three neighbors are passing by. They're from Dominican Republic. He calls them over. Hey, hey, you want some fishing equipment? Right away, my heart like kind of, what? You know, not thinking about it. Best if I didn't see it. You know, if I didn't see it, it would have been fine. <laughs> Brings them over. What do you want? Take some of the stuff. And I give them like six or seven nice reels. Shimano, pen, reels. Um, things are not cheap. Hundreds of dollars, right? I figure you'll keep them just like me. And the guy said, what do you got there? He's got a bag full of lures and, you know, hooks and all that stuff. And he said, okay, I'll keep this bag here and stuff. And a big giant plastic container with stuff. And he gave it to him. I'm looking at this stuff going, oh, man, my heart's sinking. That hurts so much. Like, ugh, just give my shit away. Oh, and I'm thinking, that's what, it's his. Do what he wants with them. I wish I didn't see it, you know. This is memories that for 20, 30 years, you have all this stuff, and it's in a locker. you kind of forgotten about it, but now you remember, like, damn, this is memories, good memories. And then I'm thinking, 
Don't give all the shit away. This, all my expensive real estate, don't give them away to, to people. Damn, I, I wish I didn't see that. That hurt. So I'm going to go by, call another friend in Miami and said, if you want some of this stuff, I'll pick it up maybe tomorrow and deliver it to him in Miami. Just to not have my cousin just give it away to strangers, not realizing the value. I put a lot of value in it because I've had it for years and I've, I know what it, what it costs, you know, over the years. And he doesn't, doesn't want him, doesn't know what it costs. I don't blame him at all. I'm just, if, if I didn't see it, it would have been better. Like, uh, uh, deep down in my heart, that thing hurt. Uh. So this is the deal. You know, I wrapped up two of my rods, put them with me, and they got inspected by TSA. See this? And they cut it open, put this in it. Took it apart, and uh, surprised them, they put it back together pretty nicely. You know, took me a long time to wrap it, wrap it pretty nicely, and it came unbroken, unscathed. So I got two of my best rods. This one is for a little spinner, like this, trout and stuff like that. And this one's a bigger one. It's my specially made rod. I had two of them specially made for me. You can tell my names in it and everything. I want to put little things on it, all my design. It's supposed to be the color of Jamaican flag, yellow, black and green, but the yellow wasn't like a fluorescent yellow, that's all he had. Nice, great, great rod, great blank. But you see this, this is more for a spinner, not a open face reel, you know. So I, I didn't check carefully enough, I brought the wrong one. I wanted the one that can fit this nice reel on it, the Trinidad, real beautiful reel. But it's not for that one. It's for another. This is for a. This is for a spinner. That one there, the real, that rod is for this type. A, a, a spinner, which I do have a spinner, which is nice. You know, this one I've had this for, gotta be 30 years, and it works still perfectly. I, when I had it, I used to get it tuned up, well, service, once a year or maybe once every two years, and it's still working. 30 years old. It's a pen. I think it's a 750. Yeah, 750 SS. They work forever, just, just got to take care of them. I bought this one too, it's a little light reel. Bought this one, Sitica. So I have about, I think I have two more of these small ones, which I took to um, Panama with me to fish. So I'm, I'm set, man, just got to buy one more reel like, rod like that for, the, for this one, for more deep sea, which I don't go deep sea anyway. But if I go to Cartagena, I go offshore. So, no, I used that, the spinner on this rod, and I got this one here for this right, right here. So I'm set. I'm set. I'm set. I'm good. If I move to Cartagena, I'm good.